Dear friends, today we'll take you on a little journey that is a lot more different than our others. We give you a little sneak peek of our vacation at the German Harz National Park, but you will notice that we mixed up the scales a bit. Let's begin with something special. This is one of Germany's rare stave churches. Built a little more than a hundred years ago, they created an art piece out of wood with Viking symbols, lots of wooden shingles and beautiful inlays. By now you might have realized what I was talking about. We are walking through a miniature park here. It shows the historical buildings of the area we stayed in for our holiday. And here comes the fun part. The stars of this miniature world are a couple of steam trains that took us on a journey we also experienced with the real steam trains that are home to the national park. The steam trains that drive several times a day are between 80 and 100 years old. The route goes from the village we stayed in up to the Brocken, a mountain that is 1141 meters high. Last year we hiked up that mountain, which was quite a bit of an experience as we totally underestimated the saying that this mountain has Icelandic weather conditions at the top. This year I wanted to take things slowly as I see myself still in postpartum recovery without enough training to get up a mountain in a way my body would be happy about. So we decided to go on that steam train ride to enjoy a bit nostalgia in a train from 1931. Walking through the miniature park, our son was happy to follow the train to all stations up the mountain. The creators put a lot of effort in smaller and bigger details, such as the big rock Firestone that is located near the station Schierke. I assume that you just noticed the dead fir trees along the railway, right? By the time you're watching this video, we are also busy with the complete story of our vacation. And this topic will come up too, as it is something I haven't seen anywhere else to this extent. Good and bad news in this. It was beautiful to ride through this landscape. The view is amazing, and we were lucky with the weather too. This huge antenna marks the top of the real mountain, as well as the miniature mountain. It must have been amazing for our son to see that mountaintop on eye level that he stepped on just a few days ago. We were super lucky to have a clear view in all directions. It is said that the clouds hang on this mountain 300 days a year and there are indeed days where you can't see more than a couple of meters around you due to the foggy clouds. After some lunch with the grand view we step back on the train to go back home. The ride takes nearly two hours through the mountain range and we loved it.
course, we also had to visit the locomotive shed where they shunt and work with all 25 steam locomotives and this diesel locomotive that is called Hart's Camel. Must be because of its shape, I don't know. <laughs> Wherever we are on holidays and find a miniature world, we'll definitely visit it. I love the idea that some grown-ups have maybe made their childhood dream come true and play with model railways in a bigger scale, even letting other people enjoy it too. How wonderful must it be to have time and money enough to build a huge medieval castle with all these details when this is what you love to do. Look at this, they put so much love and work into it. Those are buildings of the town we stayed in, Werningerode. It is about 1200 years old and has a lot of these beautiful and colorful old houses that were built throughout the centuries. We enjoyed our stay here and if you also enjoyed our video we would be super happy about a like and a comment and maybe you want to hit that red subscription button as well to stay tuned for what comes next. Thank you for watching. <laughs>